water is the elixir of life so water pollution is rampant and you can see everywhere every day there is not a single edition of a newspaper going without water pollution problems so what we are doing is uh, this is the problem can i see so the demonstration will be like parallelly going so uh, this is the problem which we are like facing like uh, there are millions of people getting affected by unhygienic water and uh, so mostly the problem is like we are not treating the industrial effluent or sewage treat like sewage at source before going to any water source so we are not at all treating so most of the uh, industries near kanpur or uh, along the river like ganga river and noyal river in coimbatore or here around belandur lake there are one 482 industries given closure notice just because they are not able to follow the central pollution control board norms so it's become a huge problem a headache for industries growing industries and problem for all the agriculturists who has to use the water like existing water uh, which is getting polluted so they can't use it for agriculture purpose so what we have done is we are using cutting edge technology some nano clusters multi metallic nano clusters which when added to the uh, like sewage water or to different water so this is like a, a dobi gut water there are 32 dobi guts in bangalore dobi each dobi uh, gut sorry dobi gut so there are 32 dobi guts each releasing 1 lakh liter of uh, wash water having 10000 tds imagine 30 lakh liter of water is getting released per day which goes to all the vertur lake and belandur lake and the frothing happens so till now there is not a treatment plant in any of the dobi gut so what we have to do is we take we took the technology from our lab scale and went to the dobi gut and did demonstration and we are there. yeah please yeah so dobi gut is like around 2500 is a community of washermen washerman and women who come together and wash cloths like it's a laundry a big laundry but that is located 32 locations across bangalore so it's the air across india or most of the metros and also two tier cities and other towns the problem is the water after the washing they use imported chemicals and automated machines kilograms 100 kg per like the, such kind of automated machines are present so the water which is like washed off are not treated and they are sent directly to the drain and which goes to through different channels to the lakes and also to other uh, like it finally ends up in the agriculture so this has phosphate content and other uh, uh, like uh, pollutants so what we thought is we have here we are using some quantum dot like uh, semiconductor materials can you see the clean water coming so this is a live demo we are giving up a dobi gut water till now a single step treatment was not able to devise like there are some uh, nano filtration membranes available by bark and igka they have developed but the membrane will get clogged very soon so they are not able to like get uh, uh, clean water uh, so this is a single step process it's less space consuming less power consuming and less uh, low cost also can we go to the next slide excuse me so this is the unique selic proportion so what how we are disruptive so uh, with the existing things we are low cost and single step so no reject so if you go to ro there is 30% reject so you can put ro system for dobi gut releasing 3 lakh liter per dobi gut and there are 30 dobi guts around 30 lakh liters of water you can use reverse osmosis so we are using a nano combined with the this paper is a normal filter paper 550 micron size and we have membranes available for 250 rupees 5 micron size membranes which along with our nano can give water as clean as like this sorry for you. <laughs> yeah you can go ahead like so so uh, this is the thing so we have institute of science we have jncsr but we are not able to solve a local problem so like me there are so many researchers in indian institute of science who want to take a yeah, cutting edge technology come out and solve the problems local problems because velandur lake is frothing like every day and we have approached the bbmp mayor and bda commissioner to so that we can do treatment at source so that the belandur lake frothing won't happen so that's what we have given demonstration and work is going on so along with that we have some bmtc depots we are uh, bmtc is our client so we are just one year old our startup and we got three three government orders and we are also got some private orders so every day client is calling like everyone has to treat the polluted water so it's a important problem we are solving so for the bmtc for example depot 25 in hsa layout depot 31 in sumanagalli they got closure notice each having 200 buses they have to the pollution control board norms is to use the bus wash water all the buses in bmtc have to be washed every day each bus requires 150 to 200 liters of water 
and imagine 100 bus means 10,000 liters of water. So each depot a minimum 10,000 to 20,000 liters of water. So this water has to be recycled, can be used again for washing or for gardening purpose. But it can't be washed because oil will be there. So we supplied, we revoked the closure notice given to three depots and the BMTC chairman was happy with this. So we have started supplying to five depots now and uh, 30 more depots are coming up. So that's what we have done. Uh, so the, like we don't have to have four tanks. If in all your apartments, you'll be having four tanks to eight tanks. A single tank, treatment at a single tank, and directly going through a filter, going to your flush for flushing purpose or gardening purpose. So less uh, space consuming and power consuming. And also one more thing, you don't need aerator. We are not involving any microorganisms. These are non clusters. But these nano clusters, after the treatment, becomes micro-level particle and act as micronutrient for plants. So usually when nanotechnology will be like a hype, like whatever we take nanotechnology will lead to like a problem, like they create like some kind of toxicity or something. But the fact is any material scientist will come to know that all of the nano clusters present in normal water, when it comes into contact with the pollutant, it turns into micro level particle and turns as a micronutrient. That's what. Can you go to the next slide? We will just rapidly go to the next slide and just finish it off. So this is the TM image of the nano clusters. And can you see the sewage water? This is the Tirupur dye effluent. The Tirupur Namakkal Hero districts amount to 95% of the knitwear exports, 95,000 crore turnover per annum. And they were told to close by Supreme Court in 2008, 2012. At the time, we developed the product. This product was developed during my PhD in Anna Institute. And postdoc is from IIC. So during my PhD, it was developed. So we tried to convince them and CETP, they have common different treatment plan. So that actually there is a saying, the mood of European people decides the color of the Noel River. So that color of the river changes according to the mood of the, so that river is along the sport districts, imagine. So, but the agriculture people like got tremendously affected, not only here in Kanpur, in Hyderabad, where pharma industries are there, 100 industries around this Hyderabad city, each releasing 4 lakh liters of, each releasing 4 lakh liters of pharma effluents. Some are releasing directly to the groundwater table. I know some industries, they have bore wells, and through bore wells, they are sending to the groundwater table without treatment. So imagine. So that's it. Thank you very much.